Hiya. Hi. Hello, gorgeous birthday boy. Well, I've been looking right for you. Nothing wrong, is that? Oh, it's never his birthday already. <sighs> Two today. Oh, bless him. If I'd have known that, I would have got him a little present. Oh, he's got more than enough. I remember when I first came to the village, he was so tiny. Mm, look at the size of him now. Well, very many happy returns of the day. <laughs> I thought you were going over to Malon's. Yeah, yeah, we are. Paddy's just wrapping the last of his presents. I, uh, I need a favour. What kind of a favour? Uh, oh, not already. I know, but I've been up uh, since five with this one climbing all over my eyelids. It's just, you know, a little um, something just to get me through. Yeah, but we look uh, Yeah, I know, but um, today's different. Uh, oh, it's an emergency. Uh, Fine. But it comes out of this afternoon. So. Afternoon. Well, that makes a change. Usually you sell him a knockoff. No, this isn't a knockoff. It's the good stuff. Me and Debbie are having a night in. <gasps> of course you are. In your dreams. Well, someone needs to look out for her. Kirk's already smashed a windscreen, and who knows what he'll do next. You are? Can not tell you? You don't need to worry about her now. I'm looking after oh, her. Oh, and that is supposed to reassure me, is it? I didn't say anything to Debbie last night, but he came round. Who did Kirk? Scarpered when he saw me. Well, if he does come back, let's just hope he wraps his crowbar around you and not Debbie. Why didn't you tell me that Kurt smashed Debbie's windscreen? <sighs> Would it have made any difference? Well, at least I could have tried to do something about it instead of leaving it to that creep Robbie. Well, how do you know I haven't sorted it already? Because if you had, Kirk wouldn't have shown up round hers last night, would he? You are. Yeah, and by some miracle of fate, Robbie managed to chase him off. I don't know where you're getting your facts, but they're wrong. Oh, and you know this, do you? Yes, I do. Because yesterday I arranged with some mates to pay our Kirk a little visit. So, unless he came calling his wheelchair, it wasn't him. I just feel a bit awkward, you know, leaving her on her own. I've told you we can easily cope between us. Here she is. She'll tell you herself. Tell you what? We were wondering if you'd be all right to cover for a few days if we went away. They want to go on a mini break. Oh, yeah? Dirty weekend? Uh, well, just more like a mid-week escape, really. With Marlon and Laurel. Oh, that kind of mini break. We haven't even said we're going to go yet. Mum, I've already told them we can manage. You'd be all right to cover. Why not? <laughs> Thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. <laughs> come here. <laughs> Sorry, I've right, gone tell Marlon. I told you. You all right with all that? Why, whatever. Well, it's just that you kind of hold all the purse strings at the moment, you know? It's, uh, it's not like I can take you with me. As long as you stick to your dosage, you'll be fine. Can we get you anything? Uh, chocolate brownie to go, please. What if I have another emergency? Keep chomping your way through them like this morning. Maybe this is exactly what you need. What do you mean? Give you a chance to wean yourself off in a stress-free environment. Vanessa, don't forget. Field's farm in half an hour. I'm coming now. There you go. That's uh, 150, please. 150. There you go. Thank you. Oh, talk about this later, okay? Yeah. You sure you can hold the fort while we're away? Of course. Hiya. Have a bit of faith in yourself. I do. 